Are you faced with a situation that feels completely stuck? You've tried taking all the physical action you could think of. You've used every manifestation technique you know of and it just won't budge. In this video, I'm going to give you the exact steps to get absolutely any situation unstuck and moving again and any manifestation to finally show up. And this can work in as little as 10 minutes. What's up superheroes? Welcome back to my channel, the place where we make the impossible possible. If you're new here, hi, I'm Scarlett Grace, I'm a manifestation coach and I'm here to help you manifest your heart's desires and a life that's better than your wildest dreams. In this video, I'm going to give you an amazing technique to get any manifestation unstuck. I'm going to explain why it works, then I'm going to give you the technique and then I'm going to give you an example from my life where I use this technique and turn the stuck situation around within 10 minutes. So this technique can literally work within minutes and it doesn't include any visualization. So if you're not a visual person, if you struggle with imagining, it doesn't matter. It's an affirmation technique and not a visualization technique. But before we jump into this, if you want to learn how to manifest any desire fast with the law of assumption and Neville Goddard's teachings, then subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any video that could change your life. I also have several self-study courses to help you manifest, including a 21-day course on how to manifest your specific person. And if you need some extra help on my personal advice for your situation, coaching is still open for this week. Then it will close until January, so you still have time to get a spot if you need coaching. You can find the links for all of those things in the description below. Alright, so let's talk about how manifestations can get stuck and what you can do to get them unstuck fast. If a manifestation is stuck, there are a few possible explanations. The main reason a manifestation gets stuck is when you make something mean a lot, when you make something very important. Now let me explain why making something very important gets manifestations stuck and also how to recognize it when it happens in your own life. This is important, don't skip this part because the sooner you can recognize that you're doing this, the sooner you can fix it using what I'm going to show you in this video. There's no reason for you to spend three or six months or a year having a stuck manifestation and not knowing why it isn't moving, only to realize that, hey, I knew how to fix this all along, I just didn't realize that this was the problem, okay? When you make something very important, when you feel that, oh, I need this to happen, I truly, really need this to happen in my life, what your subconscious mind hears is, I absolutely need this for my survival. See, your subconscious mind, when it thinks of needs, it doesn't distinguish between things that are important to your survival and things that you just want very badly. So when you feel that you absolutely need something, your subconscious mind thinks that you need them like you need oxygen, like you need food, that unless you have that thing, you're literally going to die. Remember, your subconscious mind cannot distinguish between what is going on in physical reality and what you're imagining vividly or feeling very strongly. So if you truly feel that you absolutely need something, your subconscious mind can only hear that this is 100% vital for my survival. I will literally die if I don't have this thing. And when that happens, that raises a ton of resistance because imagine if you truly didn't have oxygen right now, if somebody was keeping you underwater, not allowing you to breathe. Anything else falls away because the number one thing that you need is oxygen, no matter what. If that is how you approach a desire, if that's what it feels like, I need this, I absolutely need this, it raises a lot of resistance. Everything else falls away because you need to fulfill this one desire. And here's what else happens. If you are in that state, you 100% are not in the state of the wish fulfilled. If you feel that you need something that strongly, that means that you absolutely do not have it. And in order to manifest something, you need to convince your subconscious mind that this thing is already yours. You already have it. So by taking a desire and telling yourself, I need this, what you're doing is you're putting yourself as far away from having that desire as possible. And by presenting it as a need to your subconscious mind, what you're also doing is you're creating the biggest possible distance between your current state and the state of the wish fulfilled. 
you're literally saying to your subconscious mind, where I am absolutely sucks, over there is survival, over there is happiness, and I can never get there. There's a huge gap between where I am and where I want to be. When what you need to do to manifest is persuade your subconscious mind that, hey, here where I am is amazing. Here where I am is wonderful because guess what? Here where I am, I already have what I want. So there's no difference between here where I have what I want and over there where I have what I want. And that's how your subconscious mind takes your here where you don't physically have the desire and transforms it into over there where your desire is manifested. So by making something super important, by making something a need, what you're doing is you create the biggest gap possible between where you are and where you want to be. And then you generate automatically the emotions that match having such a large distance from where you want to be. Desperation, feeling powerless, uh, feeling sad, feeling broken. And if you think about it, that is exactly the formula for manifesting any desire. You imagine the state, you generate the feelings. In this case, you're just using it to keep yourself stuck, to keep not getting the manifestation. So the manifestation method works perfectly. You're just not realizing that you're doing it to manifest not having the desire instead of having the desire. Because what you feel and how you approach the situation mentally matches not having that desire. And that's why when you have a manifestation that is stuck or when you want to manifest something that to you is super important, you need to lower the importance of that desire so that you can allow it to manifest in your reality. Otherwise, you just have a ton of resistance that keeps it away from you. You can recognize that you're doing this if, because this thing is not manifesting, you catch yourself feeling depressed or you catch yourself thinking that your life is over or things like that. This means that you took a want, a desire, and you turned it into a need and that's why you feel so badly. If you feel desperate because a desire isn't manifesting, that means that you made it super, super important and your subconscious mind thinks it is a literal need for survival. You can also recognize that you're doing this if you have a desire and because it is not manifesting, it is affecting your sense of self-worth, your confidence, your self-concept really, really badly. If you feel that you're worthless because this thing isn't happening, if you feel that you're not good enough because this thing isn't happening, that is a huge indication that you've taken this manifestation and you've made it a need when it is actually a want. So if you're thinking, I need this to happen in order for me to feel important, I need this to happen in order for me to feel that I have value, I need this to happen in order to feel that I'm a worthy person, you've turned it into a need. You don't need any manifestation to feel worthy. You don't need any manifestation to feel good enough or important or loved or anything. Because guess what? You already are all of those things by default. You don't need to do anything. You don't need to manifest anything. You don't need anything to happen in physical reality for you to be worthy because you're perfect. You're literally God of your reality. You're a part of God. God is perfect, which means you are perfect. Anything else... Any other thought that you're thinking that makes you feel worthless or not good enough or not worthy of something, those are all illusions that you created through your limiting beliefs. And the physical world just reflects those illusions. You don't need the physical world to change to accept that you're worthy of everything good in life. You just need to realize that this is all an illusion. This is a mirror reflecting back to me my own thoughts and feelings. You are perfect by default. So if you have a manifestation that is stuck and it is making you feel so bad that it is affecting your sense of self-worth and your confidence, you're absolutely making this super important. You've turned it into a need and this is why it is stuck. The good news is that this is actually a very easy problem to fix. Ready to hear how? Whenever you're thinking about this situation, you need to tell yourself this. I don't actually need this. I just want it. It would be very nice if I had it. But whether it manifests or not, I'm going to be okay. This is it. This is all you need to tell yourself. When you're thinking of that situation, when you feel agitated, when you feel sad, when you feel desperate, just stop and remind yourself this. This is not an actual need. I just want this. It would be really nice if I had it. But whether it manifests or not, I'm going to be okay. 
Now, listen, because I know many of you will think what I'm trying to tell you is that you should be okay with not manifesting this desire. I'm not saying that this desire will not manifest. Quite the opposite, actually. You're God of your reality. You can manifest absolutely anything you want. This sentence is for your subconscious mind to hear so that it understands that you don't need this for survival and then it can drop the resistance and allow it to finally manifest. This doesn't mean that you cannot manifest it. Of course you can. But if you feel that whether it happens or not, I'm going to be okay, that removes the resistance and then it manifests easily. And I'm going to give you a couple of examples that you may have noticed in your own life so that you can see how easily that works. Do you know why we can manifest things that we consider small when bigger manifestations feel difficult? This is because of the importance. If I tell you manifest finding a coin on the street, you can manifest it not because a coin is a small thing that you can find easily. No, the reason you can easily manifest it even within seconds of deciding to manifest it, it's because whether you find a coin on the street or not, it doesn't matter. You're going to be okay anyway. Whether it happens today or tomorrow or next week, it doesn't matter. It doesn't impact your life in any significant way. It's literally not important enough for you to raise any resistance. Whereas if it is something that impacts your life, like if you don't have a job and you're trying to manifest one, it is easy to start thinking of what will happen if you don't manifest it or it takes a long while because this impacts your life. So this is significant and this is why it often doesn't happen so easily. But here's the thing, have you noticed that when you want something for a long time and it's not happening, the moment you get it, it's like all kinds of opportunities for similar things pop up. Like you're looking for a job for a year and you cannot find the right job and you're desperate, but when you finally manifest that job, suddenly you have five other job offers and all the job offers sound perfect. And you're thinking, where were those companies when I was looking for a job for a whole year? Why did they pop up now that I already have a job? Well, the reason is that now it's not important for you to manifest a job. You already have one. So whether other opportunities pop up or not, it doesn't matter. I'm sure that if you examine your life, you will find many more examples of this kind of thing happening. When you don't need something or where you're not interested in something anymore, it just pops up into your reality because all the resistance is gone. So all the things that you did to manifest it just bring it into your 3D reality. I used this method in my reality for a manifestation that was hopelessly stuck. And I mean hopelessly stuck. I couldn't figure out what was going on. I started manifesting this eight months prior and it just wouldn't happen. And it wasn't even something that anybody would consider a big manifestation. Like something that would be difficult or would take an insane amount of time or anything like that. It was something that felt easy and small in the beginning. And it just wouldn't happen. I used anything I could think of and it kept being stuck. It wasn't showing up and it started bugging me really, really badly because I know how to manifest. And I mean, during those eight months that this manifestation was 100% stuck, I manifested all kinds of other things, things that would be considered big by many people. So I manifested big amounts of money for myself out of nowhere. I manifested big amounts of money for family members completely out of nowhere. I manifested a job for a friend of mine who uh, kept looking for two years and couldn't find a position. I manifested my dream car. I manifested all kinds of things with no problem. So why was this manifestation stuck? What in the blue gorilla is happening here? This manifestation was running into a brick wall over and over and over and over for eight months. And I couldn't figure out what was going on. And then finally it dawned on me why this wasn't manifesting. I had taken this thing and without realizing it, I had made it mean something about my own worth. I had made it super, super important. And that's why it was not showing up. And it was right in front of me all along. I just wasn't seeing it because I was so busy trying to figure out what to do to make it show up that I wasn't seeing the obvious. I had made it into a need and it wasn't a need. It was a stupid thing that didn't mean anything about my worth as a person. It was just one simple situation. And the moment I realized that, I started saying what I showed you how to do in this video. I don't actually need this. I just want it. This is just a desire. 
It would be great if it manifested, but whether it happens or not, I'm going to be okay. And every time I said that, it was like a weight was lifted off of my shoulders, off of my chest. And I kept saying it over and over, and I said it 10 times or 15 times, and I felt so much better. And then I just got up and went to the kitchen to make a cup of coffee, and the phone rang, and guess what? That stuck situation just moved. (laughs) And I couldn't believe it because this was stuck for eight months, and it shifted within 10 minutes just by me dropping the importance. It's insane. (laughs) Try this and you will see how well it works. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon because I put out new videos every Sunday to help you manifest an amazing life.